Master the passive voice. Become an English grammar wizard. Hello, English learners. Today, we are going to dive deep into a grammar topic that often puzzles students worldwide, the passive voice. Specifically, we're going to help you improve your skills at identifying passive voice in sentences. By the end of this video, you should be a pro at spotting passive constructions and understanding their place in English grammar. So, let's get started. Before we can identify the passive voice, we need to understand what it is. In simple terms, the passive voice is a type of sentence construction where the subject of the sentence is acted upon by the verb. In passive sentences, the object of the action usually appears at the beginning of the sentence, while the actor is either mentioned at the end in a by phrase or omitted altogether. Here's an example. The cake was eaten by John. In this sentence, the cake, the object of the action, comes first, and John, the actor, is mentioned at the end. Now, how can you identify the passive voice in a sentence? Well, a passive sentence usually follows this structure. Subject plus form of B plus past participle plus by plus actor. Using our previous example, the cake subject was form of B eaten past participle by John actor. If you see this structure, you are likely looking at a passive sentence. Let's put this into practice. We're going to look at some examples, and I'll ask you to identify whether each sentence is in the passive voice. 1. The novel was written by Mary. 2. I was given a present. 3. He cooks dinner every night. 4. The house will be painted next week. 5. The dog chased the cat. Did you identify them correctly? The answers are 1. Passive 2. Passive 3. Active 4. Passive 5. Active And there you have it, folks. With these tips, you should now be able to successfully identify the passive voice in English sentences. Remember, it's all about practice. Keep exercising your grammar muscles, and soon enough, spotting the passive voice will become second nature. We hope this video has been helpful and we look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. Happy learning!